Hello, hello all. I'm as ready as I'll ever be today, I think. But at least I am a disco ball today. <laughs> I look very tired, don't I? Hang on, let me try to wake my eyes up. Ooh, a tiny bit. No, that didn't... That didn't help. <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, for some reason, the chat has decided not to show people saying things. Uh, it shouldn't be hiding things. Did I not start it up? Is that what the problem is? I didn't connect it in the first place. Everything's going well today, isn't it? <laughs> but hello to Starly. Hello to West. Hello to your man cat alliance. Nice to see you around here. Um, hello to Stars as well. Say hi to Streamlabs as well. You've got to be nice to the robots, haven't you? When they finally um, take over the world. I'm, sh I'm showing you, yes. Ignore, ignore, ignore this. Just, just pay attention to all the, the shinies. Um, but yeah, hello everybody. Just check my notes to see if there's anything that I need to say. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> so, if anybody's wondering about the progress of the, the lyrics videos, I've got eight. Hang on, how do I do this? Eight. Eight of them done after twelve. Um, so they're they're coming along nicely. Also, let me just flick up to the screen. There is a new episode. <laughs> oh, the music ended nicely on cue there. Well done, music. So yeah, oh, there is a new episode of Katie. Cooks a thing. It's the second episode where um, I, I hadn't figured out the the name, but in the editing, obviously, I well, you'll see. Are you ready for the 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 the, the new exciting adventures of Katie doing a cook? <laughs> so without further ado, then <laughs> let us carry on. Okay, so now for like episode two of like uh, Katie makes uh, the foods for like low energy stuff, whatever this is called. I don't know. I don't have a name for it yet. Uh, but this is called. Th this is about how to make snacks in a bowl. Um, what we need is a bowl, and then we need. Hang on, let me try and do this. Boom! And some snacks. Did that work? I hope that worked. Anyhow, so when you've got the snacks, we've got our bowl, and whoa, we're halfway there. Well, maybe like like two two thirds of the way there, because we need to just put this all in. Haha, <laughs> but not like that. Haha, <laughs> that's not the way we do it. This is the way we do it. Let's try this again. Uh, Ta da! And there we have the snacks now in a bowl. So you think, oh, this is the end of the, the thing. And yeah, if you don't have much energy, then this is the end of the thing. Just like take that away and, and whatever. But you can also do something fancy. Like, let's do like a, a, a fancy video transition to get to the next part. Woo! And here we go. We have now a drink. Uh, and wasn't that a fancy transition? I know something about transitions. That was fancy. Ha ha ha. That's a joke. Get it? <clears throat> yeah. So we now have our snacks in the bowl and we also have our drink. This is some kind of just basic fizzy drink and whatever. But you can see I've gone this extra step of being some fancy because we've got some reusable ice cubes in here. They're good because uh, you don't have to worry about running out of um, uh, space. Oh no. Uh, what is it? You know when you have an ice cube tray and, 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 and you only have like a few left and it's like, uh, but but I can't fill it up until I've taken them out and so I have to, whatever. But yeah, the, with these ones you can just refreeze them whenever. Uh, yeah, I don't think I got the point across there. Anyhow, um, so here we have a snack in the bowl plus extra special secret uh, side drink um, here too. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this next episode of uh, Katie Makes Things um, for uh, the uh, easy to make because of chronic illness things and whatever. And uh, yeah, here we go. Um, snacks in the bowl. Enjoy! So there you go, that was the second episode of Katie Cooks a Thing with snacks in a bowl. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and um, what was people were, were saying things, yes. 
<laughs> so it's not quite cooking to the degree. We might do some cooking on the show eventually, but, uh, you know, <laughs> Huel mac and cheese. Okay, is, is that one of the, the, the hot ones? I don't imagine just the flavor packets would uh, work uh, quite so well. Um, uh, yes, and I like West coming. Whoa, we're two thirds of the way there. Whoa, snacks are over there. Tracy's a guest would be interesting. Do good things to be getting my camera. I, I, I've, I've had thoughts about things I can do. Uh, hot and savory, yeah. I've had thoughts about what I can do, but let's uh, just flick off this because this is not what we're going to, to be looking at today. Here, spookies. We just pop over here, yeah, because we're going to be looking at a secret, secret spooky game. Um, I... <laughs> Let's see what it is in a very short, short order. But uh, I want to keep it a mystery until then. And uh, yeah, oh gosh, I look, I look ghastly today, don't I? <laughs> oh dear, I don't know quite why I'm so tired. I mean, I did get roughly, according to my uh, sleep tracker thing here, did get about uh, six hours sleep. There we go. So just in case you were wondering, it says <laughs> you probably can't read that. About six hours sleep. Um, Whatever, but uh, yeah, just feeling a bit today, and whatever. So, yeah, we will, we'll, we'll play the game and <coughs> stuff like that. Four hours more than you. Wow. Well, uh, I, I hope there is more sleep in your future, and you feel better. Um, if if you're feeling bad on low amounts of sleep and whatever. Anyhow. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know if there's much more to. Coffee beans? Wow, what kind of coffee beans are they? Um, I don't think I've been on since the whole Twitch got hacked thing, but I don't know if I have much to say about that other than remember to reset your password, everybody. <laughs> it doesn't look like they... Well, Twitch, from what I read, the last thing I read, doesn't, doesn't look like they uh, got any passwords or whatever, but, you know, just 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 to be safe... You might want to change your password. <laughs> Enable two-factor authentication. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, um, I kind of, uh, <laughs> that's a very cute one. Um, I, um, in a way of it, I tried to do that. I did get six hours of sleep to try and undo it, but uh, it might have been like five and a half rather than six, because, you know, it's not 100%. Decaf with tasting notes of milk, chocolate, orange, caramel, and also, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing those can't get near Starly too much, though. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yes, hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm halfway here today. <laughs> uh, regular coffee with tasting notes of cherry, almond, and chocolate. Okay, so a different one as well. Uh, let me turn the, the volume down just in case it blasts off. If it's too quiet, obviously we can turn it up. But, as I said, we have a secret, secret game. And I'm wondering how many people can get it on the quote that I'm going to give. So let me pop over to the uh, the thing here where it's going to, to pop up. And let me pop this up here. This isn't spooky. <laughs> Hello, Chaos. It will be spooky. We're getting to the spooky, okay? And have you seen my face? Look at my face today. <coughs> I, I I'm frightening today, <laughs> um, but um, or frightful or whatever. But anyway, we are getting onto the spooky, and you'll see this white screen will turn into something in a bit. I just want to see how many people can can guess it beforehand. So <clears throat> the clue that I was going to give on Wednesday, but decided against because people would people would know. I know people would know. <laughs> It has risen again. Anybody know the game? <laughs> Not Chicago Syndicate. That's just too frightening. Too frightening for me, but... It has risen again is the, is the, uh, the clue and the quote that I was going to, to be giving. Not cricket, no. Not playing cricket. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Any, any, anybody have any... Any any knowings of what what game we're looking at? As I said, I, I was assuming West might know. No, 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 no. There may be some Christmas dizzies. Uh, in, 
Drac- oh no, West doesn't know. I would, I would imagine West to know. But oh, instead of keeping you all in suspense now, we shall. Always hits the spot. <laughs> Might want to turn this up a bit. It's not PlayStation 2, it's PlayStation. Well, there we go. That's that's the title of the game. <laughs> it's medieval. PlayStation on PlayStation Two. Ah. History of in a time Gal long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir. Wow, it's very quiet even for me. Hang on. Let's see if we can do anything to to turn that up a bit. We got audio. A sorcerer named Zarok. Hmm, let me see if I can turn that up a bit. I don't know if I can. Um, I thought it looked cool. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's way down here. Let me turn that all the way back up here. That will help. This arrogant, pitiless... Is that too loud now? ...and hated his fellow citizens okay. for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. So, if you didn't catch that because of me talking and, and, and it being too quiet, I'll read the first paragraph here for you. <clears throat> in a time long ago, there lived, the, lived in the kingdom of Galamir a sorcerer named Zarok. His arrogant pit or this arrogant pitiless man, hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways, so he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galilee. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. So yes, I have fond memories of this. I don't know how much of it I played myself, but... Uh... It's fine, don't worry.
<laughs> and now... Grin. So remember the quote I quoted? It has risen again, Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder to the saviour of the day. But we knows better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hopes it does well. some swings of. It's a big swing you can do with uh, whatever <laughs> that button would be. <laughs> a few swingy, stabby things you can do with that one. So you can walk around. This is a PlayStation game, so we don't have, you know, uh, second sticks controlling cameras or anything like this. We just have, like, a kind of floating fixed camera, um, which you kind of, like, walk around more than anything else. Um, This is probably going after he got fired from the Barbie movies. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with, uh, with with that character. But could be. Can I read this? When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gate, you must find a rune stone, place it on the ornate hand next to the doorway. Okay, so exit for the top now. Tell me if the music's a bit too loud and stuff in the background here. Uh, 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 hang on, we're getting there, we're getting there, everybody. Yes. I wanted it to be a little bit, oh gosh, louder so that you could actually hear the game, but, uh, no. <laughs> Let me see, let me put it to... Unfortunately it pauses. Well... Okay. Hopefully that should be better. If it's not, please do let me know. You must be out of shape after a hundred years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease of life. Okay. A jump as well. Life bottle. Nice. Oh, there's the jaw thing. Star rune required. Okay. <coughs> throwing daggers? Oh my. I'm throwing them now. Uh, can I change away? Oh, can I change away from them? I 
don't know if I can. Oh, there we go. Throwing daggers and small sword. So we select that. There we go. It's another thing to read. <clears throat> During your travels through the world of Galamere, you will collect many items. To look at your inv inventory, press the select button on the controller. Yep, I, I figured that out. We're good. Though, having other controls would be good as well. What does this say? Do a power attack. Press and hold the square button. We'll control for a second or two and then release it. Okay. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, if I'm looking at this, it doesn't look like this is uh, keyframed animation. Because I think the original Quake uh, was the same. They didn't have... Uh, keyframes they just had like basically all of them were the no uh, connected keyframes they had the keyframes they didn't have them like um, interpolated that's the one they didn't have interpolated between keyframes they just had like the keyframes um, I think that's why it kind of looks a little bit jerky obviously it cuts down the uh, amount of processing needed maybe a little bit on the memory but uh, that is why the animations can look a certain way. Star rune. Ah, so I can go back to the thing if I want to, but feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> Indeed. Hello, you. Do you want to talk to me? No. Copper shield? Nice. Some money? Cool. Ah, uh, no, I want to read it. Uh, <clears throat> any treasure you find will go into your coin score displayed at the top right of your display. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Oh dear. Well, I guess this is where we are. And we need to come back. Oh. Uh, jump out yeah so this is when they're trying to still figure out uh, game cameras and stuff like that do I have a run of any kind doesn't seem like it as far as I can find but yes before we finish I, I probably should put uh, since we, we, we've seen what the secret spooky game is I should put the actual title of the thing here. And uh, change the, the game since it should be just just the first game. Um, there's, there's two ones called Medieval here, but uh, we will go we'll go with that one. Um, I think there's a remake, or is going to be a remake? I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping up with the whole thing. Ooh, there we go. Track down Zarok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for a stinking trail of magic slime. <laughs> uh, or the green dots, I think. <laughs> that's a good way to oh that's a good pose there we go so we got Dan's crypt down here so Daniel Fortescue oh we can save as well uh, which one <laughs> do I have the playstation controller around so I can figure out which one's the square well there we go save progress yes memory card in slot one are you sure yes Two thousand nineteen, okay, thank you. So there we go. We go on to the graveyard. Let me just do a sound check and stuff like this. So if I carry on talking and whatever, I should be able to uh, hear myself when I plug my earphones into this other thing and then turn the sound on there so I can tell how loud or not 
it is. Um, it's mostly okay. It's kind of a bit loud still in the background, so let me just knock it down a little bit. And so then, now I've turned it back on, I should be able to test out what the sound is like. Hopefully that's not too bad. And when the music comes up again... Yeah, the music's... Well, that's a bit windy and stuff. I think you can hear me. <laughs> there we go. Testing it all live. I can turn the sound down here. So sorry if there's any, like, dialogue or stuff, but it should be subtitled, I think, um, if, if you can't hear it properly. The graveyard. So yeah, it was a while, a while ago since I saw anybody playing this or maybe played it myself. <gasps> There's a hand. I'm guessing you're not friendly. Well, you seem to just be wandering away. Hi. <gasps> Stuff over here. Do we turn around here? We do. Okay. There's a, a book. Welcome back to your beloved Galamere. I'm just leaving books around like this that say that kind of thing. Anybody could read this book. <laughs> the stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. And they want to do it over your dead body. Oh no. Not over my dead body. Huh? I guess that's what they were going for. Oh my. Hello? Friend? Oh, no, I don't think friend. Mm, nothing up here? So yeah, I, I've, I've watched this being played or played it before myself a bit, but I can't remember too much of it. But there might be bits in the in you know bits later on that I'll be going, oh I know this part. Ah, Earth Rune. Hi. But now you are coming for me, okay. <laughs> There's more stuff over there. Hi hand. Okay, come here. Chop. Cool, there's... I don't know, how many ways to go are there here? It's this, whatever this is. Ah, it heals me. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend to those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Okay. Oh, that lets me through there. So what's over here, then? A gate, can I go through? Oh, I gotta get another thing here. Chaos rune? Chaos! I didn't know you had a rune. Put this in here, there we go. Walk and attack as well. Chaos rune. I get to look at my inventory and see it. No, copper shield. Okay, well, I've got the throne daggers. I should remember that as well. I wonder what the fastest movement to like is in this game. Cup of your new coffee and confirm it's amazing. Wow. Are you, are, you, are you actually stars talking, or is it starry? Ah, you double tap to run. That's kind of awkward, but... Okay. So I'm sure stars are talking about the coffee before. Can I charge up and walk? I can. Oh, gosh. Ah, stars got you the coffee. Cool. It's a good thing that it's it's good coffee. 
Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Ah. There's an angel. You have powerful coffee. <gasps> My word. Hopefully the coffee is not too powerful for you. It's very good. I like the zombie walks. I hadn't said yet, but... Uh, okay. Gaze of angel. Coming for me. Okay, I'm guessing that this is going to open when we get to turn the angel around or something. Ah, neat. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy, the chalice fills a little more. Once the chalice is full, it is yours to collect, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a prize. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm a true hero. Oh, here's a chalice. Oh, I've got to attack more enemies, I think, as it said to get it. Kill! Indeed, what is this? The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of Hilltop Mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Okay. <clears throat> Lots of noise going on around here, isn't there? I see you. <coughs> Chalice, 84% full. I can't see a thing. I can't see where I'm going. 92. We're getting there. What do I need to kill in order to get more things? Well, that's a good little... Uh... Oh, I thought it was a little squid on the on top of this thing. It's like it's just a helmet. Oh, gosh. Okay, charge up. Didn't quite work the way I'd envisioned, but where are you all? <laughs> the chalice! Cool. Get me back to the chalice. Ah, and here we can... I saw, saw my first example. There's probably been a few more, but I saw my first example of the, uh, the texture wobble that uh, the PlayStation 1 has. You see the, the textures weirdly shifting here and there. It's, it's uh, down to a PlayStation 1 thing. Hall of Heroes awaits! Uh, okay, I don't know where. Do I have to finish the level to get to the Hall of Heroes then? There's a thing over here as well. Gosh, I really would like the camera to turn around. Hang on. Can I... Here we go. <laughs> you have to coerce the camera into turning around. <laughs> As I said, they're still figuring this kind of thing out. Uh -oh, there's a thing behind me. Life bottle. Oh, there, here they are. I can jump down there as well. Is that the same place that's over there? Or not? I don't know. Ooh, there's dead bodies in here. <laughs> yeah, just just there. Oh no, the camera's not going to allow me to show you. Yeah, but if you ever see any weird texture wiggles, it's because... The PlayStation, I think, was just using a quick way to, to put textures on on things, and uh, sometimes that quick way wasn't accurate. I haven't actually looked into the details of it. I don't know if there's any, actually any um, stuff online. There's probably some stuff online about why it does it and such like that. But I haven't actually looked into it. We need retro ga game mechanics explained to have a look at it, don't we?
Why is there weird texture stuff? But I don't know if the PlayStation 2 is beyond their interest in... in old technology. So I think that's the exit. Hi, ah, you're going to talk to me, Sir Daniel? Oh, no. Softly, Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, matching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Hey, I'm not a nobody. I'm just a bad soldier. <laughs> or knight, I suppose. Um, I don't know if I wanted to try and go back. Right there. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Ah. Ah, of course they have. Now, let us tread softly. <laughs> and try to make the camera turn around. Hang on. Can we coax it? Uh, yes. Uh, no, can I fill up my other life bottles? Yeah, I can imagine. I can fill up my other life bottles. This is a good thing. <laughs> I was, I was kind of like, not sure about how this game treated um, lives and things like this, but this is good. Oh gosh, please, camera. Because there's this oh, thing back here which I didn't get to uh, really look at too much, wasn't there? I wonder if I could get back up. Oh, I had to get back up there, wouldn't I? I don't think I can. It's going to be too high for Sedan. Ah, oh well. Unless... Unless... Ah, this is this is the way I came down. Ah, that, that makes sense. This is fine. This is where I was going. That's good. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yes, I can imagine you're into the whole PS1 horror thing, uh, West. Which I was kind of think that's why I was kind of thinking you might, uh, might have known this game. I mean, it's more of a goofy horror, like a, a Night Vale kind of horror, but... <sighs> oh my word. Hi! Welcome to the Hall oh, of yes. Heroes, where the bravest warriors from <laughs> history spend eternity feasting, singing, <coughs> and arm wrestling. Hmm. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Are they gonna give me a weapon? To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Okay. Ah, there we go. There's a statue over there, I think. A statue over here, which is very hidden. I don't know if we're going to get anything from there. I think this one that's glowing slightly is maybe the one we want to... Uh, get. Here we go. Do I stand here? There we go. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Canny? Does the battle go well? <laughs> <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and it can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak. A clean kill through the nice. eyes a thousand yards. <laughs> no, come on. Will, will I accept the crossbow that can sh shoot multiple shots uh, rapid fire? I, I think so. I think so. Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. Mm hmm. Watch it. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> that was a very good cartoony stab of music there. Crossbow, you say? 150 shots, you say? Rapid fire, you say? Oh my. 
You do spoil me. Okay, this is the chalice. Or the grand chalice or whatever. That was that's canny Tim. This is somebody else I don't know. I doubt I'm gonna get anything from them at the moment. Uh, gosh, can I see who this is? Okay, they uh they look like that. And this person looks a bit like Sedan here. But invisible. Which is interesting. Oh, hang on. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. <coughs> when you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Yep, they're not solid at the moment. I think I wasted some darts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this away. Um, how do I leave the Hall of Heroes? Is there anything under here? No. Uh, how do I leave the Hall of Heroes? Do I just stand back here? Leave. Here we go, yes. Save? Yes, definitely save. successful. Ah, so this shows I got the chalice from there. Don't know if there's going to be, yeah, anything available here. We go up. Well, it doesn't have a tick in the chalice thing, does it? But then, I don't know. We will have to find out. Or not. Depending. Oh, I just want to point out. I, I, can, I can do this uh, in the middle of loading. I just think I just got the texture. Ah, thank you very much. You may notice up here, <laughs> I forgot to mention at the start, we now have 125 followers. So the uh, the follower goal, which uh, hasn't uh, has recently popped up, um, but uh, the follower goal for 125 followers, where Starly talks about Scar, has been reached. <laughs> so yes, um, I obviously no rush to to get it done. Um, it's bullying you, oh dear. No rush to get it done anytime soon, but Starly, um, that is obviously a thing we, we're going to be doing. Starly's going to be teaching me about Scar, uh, because I've shown a slight lack of knowledge about it in the past. <laughs> Indeed. I, um... <laughs> I should have thought about this before I... I, uh, I mentioned it, shouldn't I? Because it's like, oh, we got to 125 now. Better pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, Starly. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyhow, let's get back to here. <sighs> What's going on here? Some zombies. Ooh, big hill. Oh, look, there's that person. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. Mm -hmm. You're too late, Fortescue. <laughs> Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. I want to break down the door. A thing here. Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. Okay. I want to test my new weapon. Oh gosh. PlayStation 1 aiming. Oh gosh. I think. I 
think I might do better. Oh gosh. With my sword, but we shall test this a little bit. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Let's get back to the sword. It might be good for something, so let's keep it for that. Everybody, fire hurts. Of great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Well, I'm guessing I need a club for this. So maybe I'll find one. Um, there we go, that's the way out. This reminds me somewhat of uh, Super Mario 64, is it? <laughs> chop chop. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, no, it did do that. It did do that. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it didn't explode straight away. But no, no, it. it uh. <laughs> Useful life lessons to everybody, I do think. Oh, hello, face. Supplies? Oh, nice. I like some supplies. Throwing daggers and crossbow bolts, and I've got 162. Okay, well, I'm not using them at the moment, so let's keep our money. Hang on, turn the camera around. Please, 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 turn the... Turn the camera... Around. <laughs> but yeah, this definitely reminds me of a bit in uh, Super Mario 64. Though I don't believe there are this many boulders there. Oh gosh. This doesn't look good, does it? No. Ah, no. Uh, oh, gosh, they come down there as well, do they? Ah! Ah, no. Bad idea. Maybe I'm supposed to be jumping over them. Ah! Gosh, well, ah, that's it. Dangerous. I don't think so. I think I need a club to do that. And I don't have... Don't have that. Dang it. Drastic, don't you think? Okay, we'll sit in here for a bit. Oh no, still going up. There we go. Um, stuff over here. The adventurer will be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards indeed, yes. Um, so, now that that's been destroyed up here, we can. Oh, that was a good, this is some good texture popping right here. Look at that. Look at all this. I'm guessing it's got something to do with screen space. Yes. I'm guessing it's got something to do with screen space, um, texture. Uh, mapping. That's maybe why when you get the one bit of that, uh, Quad off the corner there, it it pops. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, that's my guess. Hidden areas. Are 
There's definitely something down there, isn't there? Then again, they can do pops in the middle as well. Maybe because it's, it's, it's an extreme angle or something like that as well. There's a chest here. Is it a club? No, it's another copper shield. Okay, how many copper shields do I have? Uh, I don't know if I can get more copper shields or, or what. What the situation is there? See, I'm guessing it's like maybe a, a conjunction of extreme angles and, and screen space um, texture mapping might be doing it. These are only guesses. Club? No, another shot copper shield. Well, I suppose they, they imagine you to be going up here and getting hit quite a bit. I don't think there's anything of importance over there. It, it's awkward to kind of try and run here, but I think... Ah, I think I know. Oh my gosh. Fast zombie! Club? A club! If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. <clears throat> the club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it! Burn with it! Burn! Ooh. But beware, one bash too many and we'll break. Oh no. Ah, it's got a durability on it. Can I bash? Where is the thing, then, that I wanted to look at? Was it... No, not here. Back around... Here somewhere? Um... No, this is the way... into this area. I think the camera just gave up then. <laughs> it's like, oh, what? I can't spin that fast. Where was the, the thing I wanted? If cause this over here is <laughs> not the area. Position of each polygon's vertex corner is only calculated very low precision. Okay, so it's more of a fixed point maths and well that's a lot of things. <laughs> But yeah, from what I saw, you mentioned floating point in there as well, so I'm getting it something to do with like fixed point maths and and stuff like that. Hello. <laughs> ah, fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old witches. Oh dear. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once. Unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. Okay, so there were witches in here. Interesting. There appear to be... Windows? Ooh. Well, I don't want to destroy my club. Bookcase? Hmm. Aha! More bookcases. What does this say? Ah, come on. Does this say a guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts? <laughs> a witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventurer, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of the mystic charms of or talismans. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request to the adventurer before any such help is given. 
If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is, is a good in indication that a witch can be called upon. Um. <laughs> so I don't know what that implies. Set fire to things. Uh, there's a way out here. I need to, to light something. Maybe if I switch over to this. Clear out all the zombies and see if there's a thing that needs lighting. Oh gosh. Ah, I think this needs lighting here. Well, <laughs> I think I see what's going to happen, don't you? it from here. I doubt it. Otherwise, I'm just wasting everybody's time. <laughs> okay, we got there. Daniel, Daniel, please. Yep, yeah, around. Around, Dan. There we go. Uh oh. Star. Witch talisman, ha. Huh? Copper shield. Nice. So <sighs> So what do I do with the talisman? Which name to upload because I will send by the aid of mystic charms or talismans, okay. Let it be known help from a witch is ready to give freely, which will more from a quest. When help is given, a scene so someone which remember they're quite territorial as a little called upon. Okay, but how do I use the talisman? I can't select oh no I can. <gasps> I've got an arm! <laughs> Does that just mean punch? No, it means use an arm. <laughs> The chalice of souls and the witch talisman. I can't select the witch talisman. Can't select the uh, chalice of souls either. Hmm. Um. So I don't know how to. Uh, Summon them. Do you help? 
Okay, right. The same, same thing again. I think. Um, uh, maybe see the end of the level with the chalice as well. what West was saying here. <clears throat> so from Hosendozen on Reddit, it's because the position of each polygon's vertex, the corner, is only calculated at a very low precision. Once the polygon moves or the camera, the vertex vertexes will stay at the same point um, until they're closer to the next and suddenly jump to the new position without transition. Newer graphics hardware could interpolate smoothly here uh, with more in-between states. That's where the talk about floating point precision came from in graphics, yes. Um, so it looks like he's using screen state pixel positions then for um, texture mapping. And uh, it still doesn't explain some of the extreme uh, differences. But as I said, that might be slightly also because of um, if it's going off the screen, then it can't calculate it properly or the same way. Which is why we were having this issue down here. Yeah, with this polygon down here at the bottom of the screen. Ah, right. Oh, we really got on the edge of that there. Hang on. But yeah, you can see the the, the the one at the bottom kind of flicking back and forth. That's more than just a, a pixel difference, I feel. But as I said, I think that might just be because then when it changes, it's actually kind of rendering the texture using the bottom pixel that's on there. It's only a guess, of course, as I say. Oh gosh, the door had teeth. <laughs> the door has teeth, everybody. Oh, the Hall of Heroes, this is good. Do we get a witch here? Oh, you're going to say something, are you? Back from the battle so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. <laughs> but only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your <gasps> fraudster self? Fraudster? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. Wow. Not a fraudster. I just mis misunderstood. <laughs> so this is my, uh, my statue over here then. Not very solid. And... Tiny Tim here can help us, maybe. Hurrah! I knew it would take more than an army of the evil dead to throw your strides up. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. <gasps> um, yeah, cool. <laughs> Mystery items. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to go to other ones or whether this just all happens in a sequence. Um, I'm not sure about that uh, witches thing then. Though, hmm, I was expecting. Hmm. 
I guess I was supposed to do something else in the level then. The chalice shows up on there, but... Hmm. Hilltop Mausoleum. Entering a house of pain, jump around. <laughs> Rumors abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. Oh, evil doings. Okay, do I still have my uh, yeah, I still have my witch talisman, so I guess I can use that elsewhere then. Well, this looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? Oh, hello, are you here to guide me? No, you're here to attack me. Okay. They definitely attack me. <laughs> Don't they run away from me as well? <laughs> now, I imagine if I want to get the chalice want to try and get all of these. Any more? Hiding around here? <laughs> this looks special. Um... <laughs> Down the hall, Daniel. Ooh. Watch out for sticky fingered imps. These thieves will strip you down to your arm and our knees. Oh no. Ouch. My word, they hit hard. here. Oh, well, this looks good, doesn't it? Some, some shards of things, it looks like. Yeah, they hurt. Thought they might. Doing some Banjo-Kazooie now. I don't know. Oh, I don't have a thing. Earth rune. Oh dear, now we're in trouble. Hang on. Now we're really banjo because we ying. Ah! There we go. We got there. So I guess. No, wrong, wrong. <laughs> dear me. Turn the camera around, please. There we go. Right. Have any of your... Uh, oh. 
horror games used, or any horror games that you've seen, used anything like that? And Moon Rune? Oh dear. That, uh, like bad cameras and stuff like that. To be spooky. I'm wondering. There we go. Still hurt me. It's like there's a spooky thing somewhere, but you can't see it because the camera is so awkward. Oh, that, yeah. No, jump. Jump, Sedan. Uh, what are we doing? We go. Who? Money. Yes, please. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's have a look. Hang on. Ah. See you're still there. See your fire. Need a chaos rune here as well. Oh gosh, we're gonna get very lost here, aren't we? The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass heart. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen menace. Hmm. What? They took my sword? The little imps. They're using my sword, oh no. Uh, I think Dan actually pulls his arm off in order to uh, whack people with it as well. Yeah. Yeah, but you can imagine with this, you know, the whole what can't be seen is more scary kind of thing might work. Oh, wait! They don't have an unlimited amount of uh, energy in those things. Very good floor. Is this Sailor Moon up here? Can't tell. <clears throat> this is a very good floor. Are we back here, are we? Ah, okay. Interesting. Another room. Um skeletal organ player over there looks like <clears throat> the would-be phantom of the opera longs to play a new tune <coughs> but he seems doomed to repeat the same chords of despair over and over and they've got some supplies here as well it's the same things that I haven't been using hi do you want to talk to me Well, I've got some runes. Uh, can I go this way? Down here. There's the room over here. There's also the other one the other way, wasn't there? Gosh, which one do we think is the way, way on? Does that look like the way on, or is this a, just a special... Gosh, it's dark in here. I know what they want me to do. Ow. Some throwing daggers. Uh. Okay. Me 
these are good friends here, aren't they? Let's go a good look at them. They're good friends. I always do this with my friends. Everybody do this with me. Here we go. Then we have to go back. Let's carry it over here. Gosh, it's dark now. So that was that rune, and then there was. How did I get in here? Up here? Oh, do I have to go around then? I think I might have to go around. Hello, Destroyer, how are you today? I hope you enjoy my pick of cho uh, choice of spooky game. Oh, the colours are here, aren't they? But that's okay. We can ignore the colours. Ah. Another club. Is that a, a football person? A football man, yes. It's a football man. Um, here we go. If we go back down here. So what I thought was a secret way is actually the way. And, hmm, 95% of the chalice full. I'm not quite sure where the chalice is. Is this the way to the thing that I couldn't get? Yes. Maybe the chalice is through here. Ow. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me use my crossbow. They're pretty good against these imps. Chalice can now be collected wherever it is. Uh oh. Where are they? I can't see them now. Gosh. There's some health. Where's the chalice? What is this? Sheet music? Oh. Oh, um. Well, this is a bit of a, a pickle, isn't it? <laughs> Where was the ghostly organ player? Does anybody remember? Okay, this is the way I came. That's the way up to the side. Members. No, that was the the friends down there, wasn't it? It's not there. Um, gosh. Yeah. There's nothing back there. This goes back through here. Um, actually, were they off to this other side? Here they are. Hi, I've got some sheet music for you. Give them the sheet music. 
Oh, it's, I think this is defend. I had the shield. This would be defend. Um, how do I give you the music? I'm pretty sure they would want the music, don't you? Hmm. I can't select it. I'm going to probably look this up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to check. I, I, if, if you want to check um, or have something up, um, or you want to check as well, then you could. Okay. Press. Oh, touch touchpad to open the inventory. I think I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Find the sheet and press X. This is a different one. This is for something else. This is probably the remake. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be the same kind of thing. If you if you can look some more or something, West. <laughs> but apparently. Oh, there we go. Did it. <laughs> I tried that before, but... Uh, she just wasn't pointing in the right direction. Ah, there's a chalice. Cool. Well, thank you for offering West, and yeah, I might... May or may not need some hints in the future. So I think the only thing left to do is whatever this is. I don't think it's Sailor Moon, everybody. <laughs> the demon's heart is only a vulnerable point. Oh gosh. I don't remember Sailor Moon looking like this. Can you please take your heart out? Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Oh gosh. This is not good. <laughs> what a good little crab walk that is. <laughs> oh gosh. It is a very cool demon. Nice idea as well. Don't think you see many... Uh... Ah! Oh no! I've been... You don't see many stained glass demons, do you? I am hitting them. Oh gosh. I don't know if I'll survive the fight, but uh Yeah. 
That was a very cool idea for a, a demon, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, I know that uh, Sally thinks that, but that was a very cool idea. I mean, I think it just go to show as well with limited graphics. It's the Hall of mm -hmm. Heroes shopping mall. Sure. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Unfortunately, I can't be where it's at at the moment. I'm not it. Ah, so Tiny Tim or whatever their name was. Is, uh, or just spoken just... We did get the chalice, didn't we? So I guess we can't do that over there. Speak to this one? Yes, we can speak to this person. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that archcad Zarog still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? Well, I notice you have a big hammer. Here, <gasps> take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> Great. <gasps> will I accept? Oh, I do believe I will. Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. I thought I said Not yes. you heads for old stand your iron hewer, eh? <laughs> Okay, so we have a hammer. Let me just rearrange my windows here. Young Sherlock Holmes at stained glass night. I don't remember that. Look, it's like a club, but it won't get destroyed on me. Can I? Yes, I can. Ooh, can I? No. <laughs> oh, stare. No, oh, I'm not worthy enough. Ah, oh well. At least I have a big hammer. Ah, <laughs> I'm Daniel Vortis, you don't you know? And uh, Wes, is that TV show Young Sherlock Holmes? Or it, what I mean is, is, is Young Sherlock Holmes a TV show? Hilltop Mausoleum. We've already been here. 131 for clip. <laughs> ah! Is it still not letting people do clips and stuff? Ooh, go down here as well. It's a crypt. And then across here to this. Ah. Return to the graveyard, but I could just do this over here. I mean, over, over here, because this is a graveyard. But return to the graveyard. Okay. If I had a hammer, I'd smash. Ooh. I did a good smash. <laughs> okay, anything around here? Not that I can see. Hang on. Hang on. Since we're at the start of the level, it seems a wise idea to try silly things at the start. Oh no, his eye fell out. 
I think that's his eye at least. <laughs> I know Wes, you're not a fan of spiders, but that was a cute spider. Okay. Load game. Yeah, memory card one, the hilltop mausoleum. <sighs> also, I kind of note. 1985 film, okay. Neat. Um, since I didn't seem to have, um, you can get more golden things if you come back. Interesting. Is there a rechargey thing around here somewhere? Oh, more knives. Wonder if you actually, actually, actually have to complete the levels to get these things though. Was there like a rechargey thing around here? What are you doing with the knives? Oh, you picked them up, didn't you? Let's go back to this at the moment. So now I know that if I do this, oh no, if I do... What is it? That. Sir Dan defends himself. I don't know if there was. Okay. A thing. That's just gonna lead me out. What if I do. Um, I don't think I can leave the level, can I? If I go quit. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, it's probably just gonna quit out the entire. out the entire game, isn't it? Yeah. So you can't just grab some things and just leave a level. You have to complete the the level to get those things. So I was thinking of going back and finding some more like energy things. It's now I've kind of realized that you can't um Infinite energy, as far as I know. I do want to try. Oh no! Again, again, again. So now I know. Oh gosh, don't do this. Hmm. 
Thinking sword still is, is the better choice. Oh dear. Ah, here we go. There's a bottle here. Oh no. Can I? Haha. <laughs> Silver shield. Nice. What do you have to say? Supplies more. Um, I could probably do with some of those. I don't know when I'm going to use them, but turn the camera around. <laughs> oh, this shield is pretty cool. I'm just going uh, round this way. Oh, we're back here. What did this say? Master Hilton Muslim has the key. Yes, I do have the key. But. where the angel was. Uh, how do I get in there? Looks like I have to go along the top of this. Somehow. <laughs> right. Gosh. much energy as I would like out of this. I haven't got the enough for a chalice, but I don't know what the chalice would be. Yep, out. Hmm. Maybe it's through here. They don't look like a zombie either. There's a lot of them that are asleep here. A doggo! Oh, hello. Oh no, the doggos have woken up. Is the one back here moved? Oh, this one is still... Oh no, here we go. <laughs> Hmm. 
I don't want to be killing doggos, but I think they're already dead. Want to be faster on your feet? <laughs> want to be able to bash down walls by charging into them? Oh, well, yes. All you have to do is defeat the evil guardians of the graveyard and gain this new ability. You will never know why you left the grave without it. Interesting. So this is a star rune. Undertaker. Okay. No, I can actually walk through here, can't I? Nope, I can't. <laughs> it looked shallow enough. Oh, dear, wait. And the... Uh, I just fall asleep? Let me just give it a... a wake up. So. Oh gosh, what are we doing? Here to the Undertaker. Yeah, Undertakers. Okay. Gosh, camera, please. Um. This is quite necessary, camera. No, we've been here. the thing. Can I take a shortcut? stuff. No, it's 90 now. Guess I was looking at... Uh, 88. Yeah. That looks magical. Ah. Okay, hello. Watch out. Um... It'd be wonderful to know where I'm going. Ah. So what I want to do is not go that way at the moment, because that maybe looks a bit final to go over there. Let's go back here. So I want to try and get this chalice if I can. over here. side, okay. Uh, let's say... Let's say you. Uh -huh. 
What say you? Oh, you are another one of those. Okay. Um. I know it was useful to have these things when I was fighting that enemy, wasn't it? That boss. Uh, you can push these around. Okay. Ah. Hang on. Watch out, dead body. <laughs> Mistake here, Dan. Uh, wait a moment. There's uh, more going on over here. Uh, but let me. some Zelda stuff now. Where am I now? Oh, the same place. Okay. So I want them to go over this way, don't I? Long way over there. Okay, let's go. your favorite part of any game. <laughs> Very little Z buffering going on here, I do feel. <laughs> yeah, ah, oh, don't fall off. I can hear things slopping around down there. Anything of any interest or importance over here? Gosh, this looks dangerous, isn't it? But I want to try and have a look at what's like over there, but it looks far too dangerous. Yeah, this just looks like I have to go around. No, <laughs> camera changed. That's all that up there. Do I speak to the face? Oh, they were a supplier, weren't they? Yeah, so we went over there, that's fine. And now... How do you feel with your jumps? Ugh. Sedan... Oh gosh. Hang on, can we get a better angle? No? Okay. Guardians of the Graveyard. Oh, they're the Guardians, are they? Oh. Gosh. Um, maybe... I do want this. Ah! Oh, dear me. Maybe I want a shield. I 
don't know if I'm getting this. With this. I don't know that I am. Hang on. Okay, let me go back to this then. Very slow fight. <laughs> Guardians of the Graveyard have been vanquished. You claim the Daring Dash ability. Use it well, Sedan. Daring Dash. How do I daringly dash? You're going to tell me. All has changed outside the necropolis. Paths go this way, paths go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn mm -hmm. and over every hill. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, indeed. Um, so how do I do? How do I do, Speedy? Speedy. Um, I don't know. I guess I go this way. Maybe they'll teach me. Pool of Heroes once again. You're not going to talk to me this time. It's the Hall of Hit. Okay, fine. Did I... Get the chalice. Hi. Bravo, Fortescue! Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack for now, <laughs> but I knew you'd pull through. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Why, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Money? Why? You know how to treat a girl. Uh, dang it. Leave. I'm not sure if I want to do like the full four hours today or not. I've been very sleepy and I've got something that I might want to try and do after stream. Um, so we can have a look in, and see what else we've, we've got here. Um, I might. 
don't know, maybe another half hour, an hour? We shall see. No. See, there's a shiny thing up there. Yeah. Enchanted Earth. I can do two ways now. Oh, no. Yeah, so that might give it another half an hour, an hour. Scarecrow Fields. Oh, gosh. So there's either Scarecrow Fields or the Enchanted Earth. What do people feel like? Scarecrows or Enchanted Earth? Nobody has any <laughs> suggestions, of course. You want to go to the Scarecrows, okay. Scarecrows, there we go. We're looking at Scarecrows, everybody. Hee hee hee. So, Windmill, yay. Oh, thank you. The scarecrows are almost unstoppable, so don't be a hero. Try trapping them while you make your escape. Oh. What if I want to get my chalice points? Oh! Oh gosh. They did say it was inadvisable, but aha, I got one. But they are pretty tough. saying who <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, are ah, indeed <laughs> okay there we go Beware of mischief makers and metal machines. Who knows what dark sorcery brings their metal limbs to life? It would be good to see the back of such menaces. No. I wonder if that's a hint. You are yourself. You are just a little bit. Oh, hello. You are a little bit more. <gasps> Hello, you're going to sell me things. Um, yeah, I'll buy some more of those. Who knows what what bosses I'll face up against? Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing here? I wish I could control the camera. <laughs> I guess I'm not going that way. Uh Just a little bit, you know what I'm looking for. Oh, here's a big metal machine. My word, I didn't get a good look at that before. Yep, here's a big metal machine. Uh-oh. I don't have an earth room. See the back of them, it said, didn't it? Ah, <gasps> look! Okay, well, I guess then. Um... 
does seem to be doing some damage, I think. I'm really not sure. There we go. me at all. Um, this is where I came from. I don't think I have the stone to go in here. It went down there already. I can come... Oh, they've dropped stone. Okay. saw that. I don't have any stones to throw. <laughs> Just nearly enough. This is a nice little walk, isn't it? I imagine seeing like little, you know, sheep and goats on the other side of the fences here. But no. Hello, crow. Uh oh, it's... again, another metal machine. I think I have to come down here, then I'll shut the door, and then I need to go in between the legs. Yep. Okay. This one's a little more tricky than the last one. Hey. Okay. Getting crossbow on it. The Serpent Lord yearns to fight alongside you, but has been captured by Zarok concealed within a chest. Free this mighty spirit and earn a powerful ally. 
Cool, and the snake is on our side. Oh dear. Well, that's a lot of scarecrows. Uh, oh no, we can walk through the... Oh no. Oh, okay, we can't walk through there. Death waits in th You could have told me that. Pick your route carefully and do not linger in the corn. Um. Well, I don't know which... How am I supposed to know which way to go? I mean, because... <laughs> If I could turn the camera the way I wanted to. I mean, how am I supposed to know? Yep. Ah! It came for me. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to know which way I'm supposed to go. Damn. Hang on. I think... No. It seemed to work before. I could, like, face which way I wanted to with that, but... No. Oh, no, it's another windmill. <sighs> around. Ugh. Camera, no. I do like the, the way they've cut a way through the uh, the corn there for the uh, for the uh, uh, thing to go. The windmill blades to go through. Yep. Oh. oh no. It's going to be a pain more than anything if I don't get rid of them, I feel. I do have a big mallet. I don't know if my big mallet would do better against them. That's the cornfields. <laughs> I lost a little to experimentation there, I feel. Maybe, maybe we can have a look at the other thing and then we can end up for today. So the enchanted earth. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, look at that West. And Stally, I think you like that one as well. <laughs> Though it does seem like I might have to hurt them. Yep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, 
wow, these are mean, aren't they? Hello. You're locked up there. Oh dear. I'm thinking the throwing knives are a choice for these. You'll be glad to know they are making short work of me. <laughs> They're not incapable of defending. Ah! Ah, they're not. Camera. It's dangerous here. <laughs> right. We can get the camera to cooperate here. There we go. There we go. It's got a target thing, but it's kind of difficult. So the little green thing that flies back and forth is the actual target. I don't get to control that, um, apart from just facing in a certain direction. There used to be a coven of witches in the caves beneath the cemetery hill. The whole forest never smelt the same since. I really think they're being a bit mean to the uh, witches here. Ah, get to use this. Ooh. Who has summoned the Witch of the Forest? Oh, it is you, Sir Fortescue. Forgive me, my lord. I have never met a real hero. <laughs> Forgive me, just an old lady's little joke. In truth, I am glad to see you, Sir Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant's nest. Bring them to me, and I can grant you a special reward. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? Just once, huh? Oh, oh I get miniaturized. Sorry, <laughs> I mentioned I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect. Now hurry back. <laughs> oh dear. The old tale of the legend of Sir Daniel Fortescue versus the ants. Hello, are you going to talk to me? Run, little man. If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> Hark. We can hear the soldier ants approaching. Onward <laughs> and meet your tiny nemesis. Also, it's notable that that, uh... The gargoyle face has shrank slightly as well. Thank you for releasing me, sir. My people wish only to live our lives in blissful harmony with nature. But alas, the wicked egg queen has many of us in prison. Rescue my people, Mr. Fortescue, and you will be richly rewarded. Indeed. There's ants attacking people. <laughs> I'm lost already. Here we are. I shall open the entrance for you. These fireflies are my friends. 
They will light your way through the darkness below. This magic portal is crafted by the fairies. It appears to be created to prevent something escaping from the tunnels below. And now it is open. Do you like the dramatic music here? Oh. I did hear help from the other way, though. Oh. Hang on. No. Ow. Um, 
Um, I don't know where I'm going, really. <laughs> I might have come from here. Yeah. But then I might have missed things back here, too. If I did come through in the, through here, I did miss entirely that. Whichever word order that's supposed to be. If I smash all the bugs I come across, then if I find some bugs, I'll know. <laughs> that I haven't been. Huh. If you are brave enough to go beyond this point, you will enter the chambers of the dreaded Queen Ant. Be aware, once you have encountered her six-legged regalness, there will be no going back. Uh, I don't know how many of the things I'm supposed to be collecting up to this point or... Or what? No, I don't want to talk to them again. Just to smash. Let's go through here anyway, let's find out. Why, hello. Uh oh. Gosh, hang on. Not what I want to do. A slashy slash. Oh dear. No, there's still some other ants. Can I? Don't know if my floaty thing is going towards them. I think I have to wait. Until they...
I don't think I got everything I needed to, but um, now, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. glow over there. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> um, can I throw things at it? No. Okay, I have to go down there. Okay. So I don't think I have all the things for you, um, I'm afraid. Bless me, if it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Hold still, and I'll remove the shrink spell. <laughs> What's this? I said seven pieces of amber. No reward for you, you useless squirt. Dear me. Well, that was... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'll find... It. Oh. Do I want to save? No. <laughs> I will... <laughs> I don't know if I fancy walking around inside... Uh the thing. <laughs> You're all over the ants, are you? I don't know if I fancy walking around inside there again, but I will uh, make sure to, to not save so that I have the um, emblem thing, uh, whatever, the, the, the witch's talisman, um, in order to do it if I wish to do it. <clears throat> and it just kicks you straight out of the level. Oh gosh, which I wasn't um, really expecting. But yeah, I, as you can tell, I'm still still low energy. I haven't woken up anymore. Um, so I think we're going to have to think about wrapping up. Um, <clears throat> we do shout out to people. Here are some people who do things. Um, if we bring up this here and then the schedules you will see ta-da it is friday now isn't it yes <laughs> it's friday now um so we may may see a star's transmission tomorrow uh depending on how she feels but she did stream yesterday which is a good thing uh did some fathering uh oh yes uh, stars did say that she was going to try and do tomorrow because she was going to try start alan wake um so if you like your, your spooky i think that's a uh a spooky one um so yeah there's there's that um uh yeah and then i'll be back on um sunday uh where 
we um going to be using some minecraft and going to be building a bigger boat um that'll be fun there's also other people on here but not between this stream and and my next stream so on sunday i can do a big shout out to all these wonderful people but um between uh now and um whatever the next day is sunday uh I won't be doing that because, um, yeah, anyway, but please do follow these people anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a great job here. And one of those people is Starly. And it's probably not going to play the audio for me, but I won't worry about it too much if it doesn't. You should be able to hear it. So enjoy the Starly trailer. Roll VT indeed. Um, so yeah, I, he I heard this, the sound that time. I don't know what maybe what the decision is the computer makes to, to play the sound to me or not. Um, maybe it's because I restarted in between uh, whenever and last time and between last time and now I didn't. So anyhow, uh, did you want to see the the, 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 the two episodes I've done of Katie Cook's a thing um, up to this point? Before we go, because I can put that up if you would like to see that. Um, and obviously we can have a little ch chat to Tracy as well. If you have any questions you want to ask Tracy, please ask them between now and uh, the end of the, the Katie Cooks of Things or, or whenever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I think I'll do is... Uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I can take the schedules down from here. I'll have to take RetroArch down for the moment. And then we can put up VLC here. This is the end of the, the one. It's still there. But if I just load up the first one, uh, let's crank up the volume on it so you can actually hear things properly. So here we go for the first episode of Katie Cooks a Thing. Okay, welcome to cooking when you don't have a lot of energy to do stuff. Here we have a, a th thing full of water and we have some, some powder, that's flavour, that goes after. We put this in first, into into there, a couple of scoops of this stuff into there, and we put like a spoonful of that, the t t tiny spoons, you know, the, the teaspoons, I think they're called, yeah, teaspoons, into there, and, and then, then uh, and, and afterwards, and then you, you just kind of shake it up and whatever. Um, hang on, uh, oh, sorry. So here we go, uh, we've got the, the stuff here, there's powder and, and other stuff in, in here, and this is the lid that goes on top of that now i'll do it a shake and then and then 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 we can uh eat it and stuff like that oh by the way i thought a better better title for the, the 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 series here we could call it cooking without spoons it's a good idea i think oh also i feel i need to add uh not sponsored in any way um but this is the shaking up thing you just kind of like do this a bit see and you'll shake it up maybe do a bit bit of this oh gosh but you know if you're whew, not out you know, got a lot of energy then that might be uh, a bit bit fast for it but anyway you can like have a blender as well if you want a little hand blender go bzzz, do it as well uh, but i normally i mean just like do this a few times it's mostly okay you open up and you have a drink and it's it's all lovely hang on. oh gosh oh, uh, uh, hang on hi uh so yeah i made the drink stuff and now I'm going to drink it. Oh, hang on, let me turn the thing around so I don't poke myself in the eye. Gosh, that would be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? Gosh, that is, that is food. <laughs> bye bye everybody. Thanks for coming by this first episode of Cooking Without Spoons. Woo! <coughs> oh. Crickodendum. Um, so apparently the the name Cooking Without Spoons has already been taken up by like a, a website and thing like that. So I guess I can't use that. Um, let me just 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 see. We go got the uh, thing over here. Hang on. There we go. That's. I don't know if you can read that or whatever. But the, the, there's already a website called that. So I'm gonna think of a different name. Uh, Katie Cooks uh, Vegan 
things. Um, with little energy. I need to workshop this whole thing. Anyway, bye! That was first episode, and then the, the the most recent second episode here. I'll make sure I get that loaded up for everybody. Okay, so now for like episode two of like no, start okay, it. So... Uh, start okay, it properly. So... Okay, so now for like episode two of like uh, Katie makes uh, the foods for like low energy stuff, whatever this is called. I don't know. I don't have a name for it yet. Uh, but this is called. Cool. This is about how to make snacks in a bowl. Um, what we need is a bowl, and then we need, hang on, let me try and do this, boom, and some snacks. Did that work? I hope that worked. Anyhow, so we've got the snacks, we've got our bowl, and whoa, we're halfway there. Well, maybe like like two two thirds of the way there, because we need to just put this all in. Haha, <laughs> but not like that. Haha, <laughs> that's not the way we do it. This is the way we do it. Let's try this again. Uh, Ta-da! And there we have the snacks now in a bowl. So you think, oh, this is the end of the, the thing. And yeah, if you don't have much energy, then this is the end of the thing. Just like take that away and, and whatever. But you can also do something fancy. Like, let's do like a, a, a fancy video transition to get to the next part. Ooh, and here we go. We have now a drink. Uh, wasn't that a fancy transition? I know something about transitions. That was fancy. Ha ha ha. That's a joke. Get it? <clears throat> yeah. So we now have our snacks in the bowl and we also have our drink. This is some kind of just basic fizzy drink and whatever. But you can see I've gone this extra step of being some fancy because we've got some reusable ice cubes in here. They're good because uh, you don't have to worry about running out of um, uh, space. Oh no. Uh, what is it? You know when you have an ice cube tray and, 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 and you only have like a few left and it's like, uh, but, but I can't fill it up until I've taken them out and so I have to, whatever. But yeah, the, with these ones you can just refreeze them whenever. Uh, yeah, I don't think I got the point across there. Anyhow, um, so here we have a snack in the bowl plus extra special secret uh, side drink um, here too. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this next episode of uh, Katie Makes Things um, for uh, the uh, easy to make because of chronic illness things and whatever. And uh, yeah, here we go. Um, snack in the bowl. Enjoy. So there you go. As, as I kind of said on, on on the text on the video thing, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, what it was that caused it to make it sound like I, I, I had a list or something on that. It's like I don't know. <laughs> it's just probably some like the audio cancellation. Maybe something was making a noise and it was kind of like the same as my S's and stuff like that. So it cancelled it out. Because um, obviously, as you can probably tell, I, I don't normally have a lisp. So you know. Not cool enough, um, but anyhow, um, that was the two episodes of uh, um, uh, Katie Cooks a Thing. I remember the name of the thing. <laughs> Let's have a quick chat with Tracy and then we can go. If you have any questions, Katie eats a vegetable. Oh no, <laughs> Katie, Katie does eat vegetables, I can assure you. Um, oh, hi, everybody. Hi, uh, yeah, I, I, I do. I do know what vegetables are. I had vegetables today, in fact. Yeah, it was called a pizza. <laughs> Pizzas have vegetables. They have like tomatoes and sometimes they have other vegetables as well. Yeah, and then and, and, and maybe some of the like um, vegan cheese stuff is made of vegetables. So, you know, and... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have a, uh, a question here from... Uh... Stally, it says, would you eat a gingerbread person? Um, I would eat a real person too. I mean, I like gingerbread people. I would eat real people too. But generally, all the people I meet are nice. So I tend not to eat them. But sometimes I get a hankering <laughs> for, for people. Uh, mainly the, 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 the nasty people, really, though. Um, but as you can see, I'm just a tiny, tiny dinosaur. And I couldn't really eat a whole person. Um, so, but yeah, I mean... It, 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 it's hard, but I I have sworn off eating humans. Um, like like Katie's being a, a a vegan, I I I have like sworn off all types of meat. Um, so yeah, I I, I you're, you're safe from me. That is good to know. Um, I won't wake up in the night and you start to nibble on my like arm or leg or something like that. No 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 no, definitely not anything like that. Um, no. okay. 
So I'm definitely yeah, safe. But uh, would you eat a gingerbread person? Oh yeah, that was a question, wasn't it? So would you? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> They're biscuits, right? I like biscuits. Gingerbread. Hmm. That has ginger, right? I think I like ginger. I, I think you do like ginger. Um, it kind of can be a little bit hot. It, won't that let you ask a second question? Oh, well, we'll ask it in the chat, Starly. Uh, this this one time, this special one time, you can uh, ask it in the chat. I think Twitch is still having some problems with, with bits and pieces of things here and there, you know. With the whole leak thing. Yeah, with the whole leak thing. Um, I think they've, uh, they, they've had uh, some issues and, and such like that. Ah, I noticed up there that you got 125. That's exciting. It is exciting because that means Starly gets to talk about uh, Scar and teach me about it. Yeah, maybe I'll learn something about Scar too. Maybe you will. Uh, how would... Um, yeah, okay, it's, it's not going to appear in the thing because... Uh, uh, okay, how how would you feel about me eating a dinosaur? Oh my! And the Starly specifies a non-meat one. Oh, um, you mean like... A, a, a dinosaur-shaped thing, like a like a cookie, like we were talking about with uh, like with the, the the gingerbread people, the gingerbread people biscuits and stuff like that. So you mean like eating eating a dinosaur-shaped biscuit or something like that? Yeah. I mean, how would you feel about that? It's a biscuit. <laughs> it's okay. And then the biscuits shaped like lots of animals they're like the special animal shaped biscuits and they have chocolate on them they're, they're very nice but i don't think they're vegan um so yeah uh yeah it's fine <laughs> <laughs> i hear they make like uh meat ones and that's kind of a little bit weird but uh if they're non-meat shaped um dinosaurs then maybe maybe that'd be fine but it's just kind of weird if you shape meat into the shape of another animal and then eat that is that shape. <laughs> it does seem a little bit weird, doesn't Tracy? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, there's a little bit of a, um, information for you, Tracy, uh, to, to give some some background to the whole thing. Um, I, I I did say that I didn't know if if you'd be upset if 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 I got some like dinosaur. Um, it's like uh, what were they? They were uh, like corn dinosaurs, weren't they? Uh, That's fine because they're not real. Uh, animals so it, 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 it it's fine i mean i would eat a a dinosaur <laughs> uh cookie and or corn dinosaur thing i think that'd be good and, and and people eat gingerbread people as well don't they so that's fine uh so yeah it, 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 it's only shaped like people it, it's, it's like the whole thing with you know guns in video games guns in video games don't necessarily make you a violent person um, though if you are a violent person, you might like going boom, 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 people. But then, then you could do that in, in real life with real guns. So, you know, anyhow, <laughs> anyhow. Um, yes, uh, thank you Ooh, very much for asking uh, questions to Tracy. I think you should you should, you should rest now. I should probably rest now. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to go back over there, OK? I got to think about eating... Uh, gingerbread dinosaurs and people <laughs> okay well have have a have a good one tracy okay bye bye everybody uh, i think tracy like might have dreams about snacks and stuff like that uh anyhow i i have got to finish because i haven't woken up any more during the whole stream but thank you for coming by please join me on sunday for some minecraft um and please uh see Stars tomorrow with Alan Wake, wasn't it? <laughs> if Stars is streaming, and hopefully Stars will be streaming. Um, but yeah, and then I shall tell everybody about the wonders of other people on Sunday and stuff. Gosh, well I'll play a song, play finish off, and then then I can say goodbye. So thank you very much everybody for dropping by, and I'll see as always. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.